Good 4 o'clock, a boxing class at an upstate YMCA is helping those battling Parkinson's disease. And Fox Carolina's Anna Arinder uh, joins us right now. I know you stopped by this class to learn a little bit more. It seems incredible. Yeah, uh, Tori, Parkinson's actually is the second most common neurological and neurodegenerative disease and Alzheimer's being the mm -hmm. first one. About 90,000 people are actually diagnosed per year. And the men and women a part of rock steady boxing, they're truly fighters. Rocksteady growing year by year. Rocksteady growing year by year. Trying new things with no fear. Trying new things with no fear. 12 Parkinson's fighters inside their own ring. Battling a diagnosis with no cure. Health and Wellness Director Jan Rushton of the Greenwood YMCA turned a longtime dream into reality. All the things that a boxer has to learn to do are all the issues that people with Parkinson's deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. When we look at speed bag work, it's eye-hand coordination. If they have to read instructions in front of their heavy bags, it's cognitive. Um, everything is neurological, so we want the brain to fire because this is a brain disease. 84-year-old Bob Thomas has been coming to Rock Steady Boxing for a year and a half. Coordination is better. Thought process is better. Speaking to people is better. Interaction with people is better. It's like a family rather than a unit. His motto, it's okay to give out, but don't give up. Another boxer punching right beside him is James Kenny. I walk the six laps and once I get my laps in, I go around and hit the bags and see what we're practicing today, whether it's uppercut or regular punches or, or hooks or whatever it happens to be. That's, uh, that's fun for me to do that. The former Marine diagnosed just a few years ago. Anything you can do to help your uh, balance because balance is very important to us because that's one of the things that uh, that happens is we fall and fall often uh, the first question out of the doctor's mouth and out of the nurse's mouth how many times have you fallen since your last visit and I have been very blessed in that I have not fallen yet it's a, it's a link to God like there's God I'm the vessel and they do the work, you know, and through that, that's what, what keeps me going. Now, if you live in Lawrence County, the YMCA there actually offers Tory Rock Steady Boxing program for them as wow. well. So if you have someone that might be interested in taking this class, you can call either Y or just visit our website for more information. I mean, that had to be just such a cool experience yes. for you to be there and to, and to talk with yeah. all those gentlemen. And I love just to see their fight. I know. You know and it, have it. honestly, it's so encouraging because a lot of uh, stuff that they get out of this class too mm -hmm. is just really that camaraderie and being around people that know exactly what you're going yeah, through and so some true. of the same struggles and you know Parkinson's can look different for different people mm -hmm. um, but it's all about having that family mm -hmm. like they were talking about and uh, people that you can really connect with on, right. a, on kind of a different level so no, that and that's perfect so yeah. oh, I'm so glad we got to share that story Anna absolutely thank you thanks Tori